While any dog has a chance of suffering from cancer, there are specific breeds that are known to have a higher chance of getting it than others. If you currently own a dog or are planning to have one, and you want to know if they're included in the top 10 dog breeds with the highest cancer rates, then it's worth watching this video until the end. Before we begin, let me tell you a few things about cancer on dogs. Like how dangerous it is for humans, cancers are also life-threatening diseases for dogs. In fact, cancer is the leading cause of expiration of dogs that are 10 years old and above. However, by determining the symptoms of early stages of cancer, you can help save and prolong the life of your dog. Hi there, this is Animal Insider. Before we begin, please subscribe on our channel for your daily dose of dog-related contents. For today, we'll talk about the top 10 dog breeds that are prone to cancer. Without further ado, let's begin. Number 10. Golden Retriever Sadly, the very adorable, loving, and obedient Golden Retrievers are on our list. There are four types of cancer that a Golden Retriever may develop, including hemangiosarcoma, an aggressive and deadly malignancy of the lining of blood vessels, lymphoma, a cancer that's formed in lymphocytes or the infection-fighting cells of the immune system, osteosarcoma, a cancer that starts in the cell that forms bones, and mast cell tumor. According to Golden Retriever Club of America, 61.4% of Goldens died from cancer. Some other health conditions that a Golden Retriever may suffer from are hip dysplasia and skin problems. To avoid worsening of their conditions, it's important to have them undergo a thorough physical exam at least once or twice a year. What's more surprising is that in 1988, the University of Pennsylvania School of Veterinary Medicine doesn't even mention Golden Retrievers as one of the dogs having a high rate of cancer. Just 11 years later, unfortunately, 60% of this breed expires from cancer development. To keep your Golden healthy, it needs daily 40-60 to 60 minute vigorous and interactive exercise. They may enjoy obedience and agility training, retrieving games, and a jog or walk in the park. A Golden Retriever has an average lifespan of 10 to 13 years. Number 9. Great Dane Although cancer is common for older dogs, young Great Danes can also suffer from certain cancer types as well. Aside from bloat, heart disease, and bone and joint problems, these gentle giants may also suffer from osteosarcoma, lymphoma, hemangiosarcoma, a bleeding tumor that commonly forms at the spleen. While most cancers are cured by surgical removal and chemotherapy, it is essential that cancer is detected early. This is why you should always have your dogs checked by the veterinarian regularly. To keep your Great Dane healthy and fit, make sure to be consistent in giving him 30 to 60 minutes of daily exercise. For puppies and adolescents, they should have 90 minutes of exercise per day. These large, skillful dogs have an average life expectancy of 7 to 10 years. Number 8. Rottweiler Two most common types of cancer that a Rottweiler may suffer from are osteosarcoma and lymphoma. These large dogs with powerful strength and expertise as guardians come from a line of Roman military dogs and were formed in Germany. Aside from cancer, this breed may also suffer from elbow and hip dysplasia, gastric torsion, and bloat. Rottweilers may vary greatly in energy levels, but according to the Kennel Club, they need more than two hours of exercise per day. They will also love playing chase or going hiking. For mental stimulation, you may also try engaging them in obedience and agility training, as well as tracking, pulling, therapy works, and other common jobs. Rottweilers are intelligent dogs, so they can be easily trained. A healthy and happy Rottweiler can live between 8 to 12 years. Number 7. Cocker Spaniel Another dog breed who has a high rate of cancer is Cocker Spaniel. According to a study, 23% of this breed's population has cancer as the leading cause of death. Common cancer types for Cocker Spaniels are melanoma, a form of skin cancer, basal cell tumors, also a type of skin cancer, fibrosarcoma, a rare type of cancer which affects fibroblasts, and anal sac adenocarcinoma, an invasive tumor with a high rate of metastasis to local lymph nodes. Other health issues a cocker spaniel may suffer from are eye diseases, autoimmune hemolytic anemia, primary seborrhea, allergies, idiopathic epilepsy, canine hip dysplasia, and patellar luxation. Being an alert, athletic, and playful dog, the Cocker Spaniel may enjoy a range of activities from walking to hunting. A healthy and properly cared Cocker Spaniel can live for 12 to 15 years. Number 6. Labrador Retriever Another retriever dog that is prone to cancer is the Labrador Retriever. 
Sadly, this loving, affectionate, and friendly breed may suffer from hemiangiosarcoma and lymphoma. Aside from cancer, labs can also suffer from bloat, liver problems, bleeding disorders, hemolytic anemia, bone and joint problems, neurological diseases, diabetes, allergies, and heart diseases. As a working breed, Labrador Retrievers love having a job to do. They demand physical activities, and every day they'll need 30 to 60 minutes of exercise. Labrador Retrievers have an average lifespan of 10 to 12 years. Number 5. German Shepherd For German Shepherds, hemangiosarcoma and osteosarcoma are the most common cancer types that they may develop. While they're generally healthy, other health conditions that German Shepherds may suffer from are hip and elbow dysplasia, gastric dilatation vulvus, degenerative myelopathy, and allergies. Everyday German Shepherds need their body and mind to be stimulated, otherwise they can become destructive. This includes obedience and agility training, a game of frisbee, and a run at the park. The German Shepherd has a lifespan of 10 to 14 years. Number 4. Doberman Pinscher Doberman Pinscher are among the top 5 dog breeds that are prone to cancer, particularly bone cancer. For female Dobermans, mammary cancer is their leading cause of death. This breed is also prone to hip dysplasia, albinism, narcolepsy, and von Wildebrand's disease. A highly energetic dog, Dobermans need a high amount of exercise per day. Because of this, they are only suited for owners who have an active lifestyle. A healthy Doberman may live for 10 to 13 years. Number 3. Boxer among all dogs, Boxer has the highest rate of mast cell tumors. Though this tumor grows gradually, early detection is critical to prevent worsening of their condition. This breed may also suffer from brain tumors, hip dysplasia, and cardiomyopathy. To keep your Boxer healthy and well-behaved, he should have a 30-minute exercise twice a day. This can be in the form of agility and obedience training, long walks, or fetch. Boxers have an average life expectancy of 10 to 12 years. Number 2. Bouvier de Flander Coming to the second spot is this agile farm dog. The Bouvier de Flander is predisposed to gastric carcinoma, a type of malignant stomach cancer. Sadly, Bouvier are included in the high risk for developing this type of cancer. Other health conditions they may suffer from are hip and elbow dysplasia, subaortic stenosis, a type of heart disease, and glaucoma. Daily vigorous exercise is essential for Bouvier to keep their body healthy and strong. Bouvier de Flander has an average lifespan of 10 to 12 years. Number 1. Bernie's Mountain Dog And we're down to the breed with the highest cancer rate. Unfortunately, studies have shown that half of Bernie's Mountain Dog's population dies from various types of cancer, with mast cell tumors being the most common. Other health conditions affecting this breed are hip and elbow dysplasia, gastric torsion, and heat stroke. Every day, Bernie's Mountain Dogs need 30 minutes to an hour of exercise per day along with a yard play. They're working dogs, which means they have plenty of energy to burn. The Bernese Mountain Dog has a relatively short lifespan of 6 to 9 years. Though symptoms may vary between dogs, some most common symptoms of cancer are lumps or bumps underneath a dog's skin, sudden weight loss, swelling of the abdomen, abnormal discharge from the eyes, ears, mouth and rectum, and the evidence of pain. There are many more symptoms that determine if your dog has cancer, however, it is important to check with your veterinarian to make sure. And that ends our video. If you like today's content and find this video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you won't miss any of our future videos. Once again, this is Animal Insider. I hope to see you in the next video.